Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Kazi here from Black Cat Comics in Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I like to give you some great reasons to get down to your local comic shop and pick up something fun to read. Uh, it's a big exciting week, lots of great stuff to talk about. Let's start with this guy. This is Thanos number one. Uh, way back in the day there was a book called The Infinity Gauntlet that skyrocketed this guy to popularity among comic fans. Then you saw him in that teaser trailer at the end of Avengers and well, He's pretty much the biggest villain in comics these days. Back in his own title, super awesome. If you've never read the Infinity Gauntlet, really recommend you uh, grab that trade paperback while you pick up this Thanos number one. Great stuff. Amazing Spider-Man with these awesome Alex Ross covers. This clone conspiracy stuff has been huge. So if you're not following Amazing Spider-Man, grab a Clone Conspiracy 1 and 2, uh, grab this latest issue or a couple issues previous and catch up, because Amazing Spider-Man has been a lot of fun. Dan Slott's doing a great job with that these days. Uncanny X-Men Annual is your only X book for the week. But Old Man Logan is out this week. This guy's getting a lot of attention. You've probably seen the trailer for the new movie that's coming. Again, you should grab the uh, trade paperback for the original Old Man Logan stuff if you haven't caught up to that. The series is also a lot of fun. How about the women of Marvel, like all-new Wolverine starting a new story arc, or Silk, another clone conspiracy tie-in, or Patsy Walker, a.k.a. Hellcat. This is one of my running favorites right now. It's a little odd, a little quirky, but it's a lot of fun. Been a fan of Hellcat for a long time. Or Jessica Jones, Marvel's newest TV star, that cool David Mack cover. Or the unbeatable Squirrel Girl, kind of like Patsy Walker, a little weird, a little funny, but Kind of cool if you're looking for something a little different from the usual superhero stuff. This one's got Ant-Man. How about Sam Wilson, Captain America? Everybody knows I'm a big Cap fan. There's D-Man taking on some pro wrestlers right there. If you don't know who D-Man is, well, you're probably fortunate. Anyway, Doctor Strange, Marvel's latest movie star. This movie's awesome. I'm sure you've all already seen it a couple of times. Get in and grab this week's comic. You can know who that gal on the cover is. Or Marvel's previous movie stars like Deadpool or Black Panther. This Black Panther title's been really cool and the first issue of his other title was really good too. Might be flying under your radar a bit so you should catch up to that one. How about some bad guy titles like Infamous Iron Man? That's uh, Doctor Doom taking on Tony Stark's role. Well, actually he's kind of getting his face smashed by the thing right there. How about Carnage? Or Squadron Supreme with the return of my man Prince Namor. Big Submariner fan. This book has also been really cool. A little dark, a little heavy, but uh, some cool superhero action. And Uncanny Inhumans rounds out your Marvel stuff with Black Bolt looking like Loki right there. Great stuff. Good week for the DC guys too. How about some of the biggest heroes ever, like Batman, that's Batman number 11 with a cool Bane cover, or Superman number 11, building up to all that Super Sun stuff, or the Justice League, another one of the huge rebirth titles, or Trinity, since you can't seem to get enough Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman in Superman, Batman, or Wonder Woman. Great stuff there. Superman's even showing up in Nightwing. This book is really catching fire, so if you're one of the three people who hasn't been reading Nightwing, what are you waiting for? Maybe you've been waiting for Superman to show up, and there he is. Green Arrow with these cool Neil Adams covers. And Green Lanterns. This book's also uh, really gained a lot of steam. Really excited to see uh, all the Green Lantern stuff doing so well in this Rebirth universe. Aquaman! Another book I'm glad to see in the Rebirth universe. Suicide Squad with that cool Jim Lee Harley Quinn cover or Cyborg that rounds out your rebirth stuff but Raven is one of the many mini series that's rolling out right now this one's written by uh, her original creator Marv Wolfman so you, if you're a Titans fan you should definitely be checking that out Dr. Fate is the last lingering uh, non-rebirth ongoing title Cave Carson is your young animal book. And He-Man and the Thundercats is the one you've been waiting for. The first issue sold out in about three minutes, so I'm sure you're probably already in line at your favorite comic shop for this one. 
And Lucifer is your Vertigo book for the week. Always encouraging you guys to have a Vertigo title on your list. Creepy cover there. And it's a good week for all the other guys too. You know, I'm always talking up the BPRD for my friends at Dark Horse, but they do lots of other cool stuff too, like aliens. They do alien and predator, all kinds of cool sci-fi stuff. But the one I wanted to get to is this guy, Dark Horse Presents. Best anthology comic out there. If you're looking for something a little different, it's uh, short stories by some of the best creators in comics. Lots of good stuff in Dark Horse Presents. So, double-sized, great stuff. Good week for the image, guys. All the best people in comics have an image book. Moonshine number two from Brian Azzarello or Reborn from Mark Miller or Kill or Be Killed from my man Ed Brubaker. Love me just about anything from Ed Brubaker. Or Invincible by some guy who does some book called Walking Dead. I don't know if you've heard of that one, but he does a superhero book. Superheroes are cool. Archie. Been talking up all the great stuff these guys have been doing with their, uh, I almost don't know what to call it because it's not mature readers. I guess mainstream comics as opposed to the all ages stuff. They do Archie, Betty and Veronica, Reggie's going to get his own book soon, Jughead's out there. Of course they got Afterlife and Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. This one's got Cheryl Blossom. Great stuff. Micronauts is my IDW book of the week because it was one of the most fun toys ever and now it's an awesome sci-fi comic. Godzilla is my IDW book of the week. The other one I should say because everybody loves Godzilla. Kong! King of Skull Island is my Boom Studios book because it's awesome to have Godzilla and King Kong comics in the same week. Kiss is my Dynamite book of the week. That's your second issue. We still got a couple copies of the first issue in stock. You wanted the best, you got the best. And Harbinger Renegade is your Valiant book of the week. Starting a new team book from those guys. Like the Vertigo stuff, always encouraging you guys to have a Valiant book on your list. Do all kinds of cool stuff. And it's a good week for the all ages stuff. Simpsons 234. Love me some Simpsons comics. Always talking up the great job Bongo does with all their stuff. Simpsons, Simpsons Illustrated, Bart Simpson, Futurama. Great stuff there. Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? The classic Scooby-Doo book. They also got Scooby-Doo Team Up and, of course, Scooby Apocalypse. But there's no Hanna-Barbera reboot book this week. And Walt Disney Comics rounds out your all ages stuff. Always talking about how great it is to see the Disney stuff back in comics. Like I say, good week. Nice uh, wide range of stuff. So make sure you check those shipping lists. Get down to your shop and pick up something super awesome. That's all I got for you for this week. You can check us out at blackhatcomics.biz. Check us out on Facebook. Check out our cool YouTube channel. Check out our podcast at soundcloud.com. Or just get on down here to Rockin' Milpitas. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.